hey guys welcome back it's Percy here in this video i'll be showing you how to install java and intellij idea yes this is the idea i used for my tutorial on getting started with java how to code with java there's a link in the description for the video and so i'm going to be showing you how to download java for your system and set up everything you need to begin coding with java to begin that tutorial series so before we get right into it i want to thank you guys for the subscribers i want to thank you for the support thank you very much guys i really appreciate it. so let's get right into it um the link will be in the description for the intellij idea and the java so those links are here you see them in the description below so let's get started so for windows i'm not using a mac i'm only using a windows so i won't be able to do this for windows but just in case you're using a mac the links are here so yeah so let's go to download java for windows you're going to copy this link in the description then come to your browser okay then paste the link in your browser and begin to load up then to load up and we're going to scroll down to windows x64 installer we're going to click install we're going to click this this is the jdk this is the java file so i reviewed and then download and i've already downloaded this as you can see it has said downloading i've already downloaded that so i don't need to download that again once you're done downloading this is what's going to look like it's going to look like this this is what's going to be this was going to be this is going to be like so and uh, next download we're going to let's finish with all the downloading IntelliJ idea the link is going to be in the description so you copy the link to your browser paste it in search and it's going to take you here and that link will start downloading IntelliJ immediately as you can see here 650 megabytes yeah that i've already downloaded this so i don't need to download this again so i'm going to cancel and if we when you're done downloading it's going to look like this yes an exe file both files will be exe so the intellij is exe the java is exe so this is that they're going to look like so first we're going to install java on our pc so we double tap and it's going to ask for permission yes Preparing to install okay this is the setup so next um to change what we want it to be it's in my program files in my c drive so that's okay so next i'm extracting is installing So when it's done, once you guys to click close. So when we click close, we open our explorer, Windows E, or we can just come here, Windows E, yes, we open our explorer, then we go to where we downloaded, sorry, where we installed the Java file to, that was in my C drive, Windows, and then program files, uh, Java. So here it is, JDK 16.02 yeah today yeah so this is the file so what i want you guys to do is to open the file open bin and this is where all the axes are everything that's going to be running our java on our system so i want you guys to open when you open bin you come here to the url explorer and tap then copy copy this address yeah so when you copy it you're going to minimize open a new notepad file just open notepad then paste it in this is for the bin remember this is for the bin then i want you to go back to your explorer that same place but this time go back to the go back to the program files and then open the java again when you open java open your jdk and this time you don't enter bin this time you just leave it on the jdk here so you copy this 
and paste it in that notepad so as you can see the first one had been and the second one did not have been this is the version of our java java 16.02 the latest i think yes java 16.02 so you do this these two links open your control panel go to your windows and type control panel and it's going to open this so when it's op when it's opened you're going to go to the search bar and type view advanced system settings okay click and this is going to open the dialog box is going to open so we're going to go to environment variables and environment variables we're going to click new When we click new, we're going to type Java Home. And when we type Java Home in our variable value, we're going to go to that, our notepad. Then copy the one without bin, the link without the bin. So we copy the second one, which has the Java version beside it. So we go back to our control panel, environment variables paste it then we click ok when that's done you're going to see it here that's cool so next we're going to scroll down in our system variables scroll down to path and on our path we double tap when we double tap it's going to open this as you can see i already had java before but just in case let me do it for you guys to see so when you open that when you open when you open this when it opens this new and then when you click new the cursor starts blinking waiting for you to enter something what you enter here is the one carrying the bin the link carrying the bin so we highlight copy and go back to where we were new and then paste it there as you can see it's the same because i already had java on my system so this is it so when you're done click ok and then you click ok then ok and you're done you've installed java on your system and if you want to know you have installed java on your system um open command prompt or just go to your stats and type command prompt and when you type command prompt what is going to open is this and when you open this you're, you're going to want to type java spacebar iphone version this is going to show us the version of our java remember we downloaded java 16.0 so it should show us java 16.0 java 16.0 so exactly so now we have java on our system if it's not showing this then go back and do the steps from the beginning so you actually you can have java in your system so now we have java i need an id and, and the id we chose was intellij idea so when it's done downloading you're going to click this load up it's going to start loading up Is it going to start loading up then yes next yes next to continue uh let's click next so where do we want to install it to our program file so that's that's okay next sorry okay um my pc is a 64 bit so i need a 64 bit launcher click these three options this this and this and we're going to click next yes uh next install and it's installing so this is the id we are going to be using intellij idea we'll be using this to write our java code for our system to recognize java and we already installed our java and we already downloaded our java we did everything on java already so our system is going to recognize java with our intellij idea so let's wait for it to finish installing so we can test it if it's working so it's done and we're going to leave it on um, i want to manually reboot later because we have to test it now yes yeah, so we can reboot now finish and when it's done 
we're going to have a shortcut in our window or you can just go to your window apps and check for IntelliJ idea yes so I'm going to click this one so open IntelliJ idea and it's going to open up okay now that it's open we're going to click new project then we're going to skip this next next um test and it's open yes so thank you guys this is the end of the video as you can see our IntelliJ IDEA is working the name of our project that we created was test as if you go back to your desktop you see the text folder containing the java file if you press source yes yes it's working this is it so if we go to IntelliJ IDEA and click on source right click new create a class let's name the class test it's going to open up the space for us to write our code the space for us to make our program so this is it it's working as you can see it's working so if we should go to our source now we should see test the java the java file so i also want to give special thanks and um, appreciation to packet studio that vader timmy rico and king david thank you guys for your support i'm very grateful thank you guys and if you want to get a shout out like this guy just got make sure to subscribe make sure to like make sure to comment make sure to ask questions and you get a shout out too so thank you guys later